Okay, listen to me very carefully, my friend. Here's the deal. First, to steal the diamond, you need to get to a remote island. It doesn't exist on any map, and it's forbidden for ordinary people to be there. The diamond is in the heart of this place, inside a well-guarded deep underground bunker. It's impossible to get there through the main entrance. But lucky you, there's also a secret jail on the island. You can get there as a prisoner and then escape through the underground tunnel. That tunnel will lead you into the bunker. Then you should find the diamond. You'll have very little time for the whole operation. When you're done, a boat will be waiting for you in the southern part of the island. Do everything correctly and follow the plan, and then you'll encounter no problems. Got it? Alright, let's go! You and other prisoners get into a helicopter and fly to the island. You're handcuffed. At one moment, the helicopter begins to shake. The pilot says you're falling. He puts on a parachute and jumps out of the helicopter. Take a look around and decide what to do next. Faster! You see the keys to your handcuffs hanging near the cabin. Then you get rid of the handcuffs. The prisoners ask you to release them too. But be careful, these people are dangerous. All three of them say they know how to fly a helicopter. Who will you believe? That guy with a tattoo with a helicopter on his leg. Maybe he's a good pilot. You remove his handcuffs and he admits he has lied. None of these people knows how to fly a helicopter. There's only one parachute left. The prisoner pushes you to the side, grabs the parachute, and jumps out of the falling helicopter. You decide to release the other prisoners too. What will you do next? Jump without a parachute? Try to land the helicopter on your own? The helicopter's pilot abandoned the vehicle because the landing was impossible. So you will not succeed either. You need to jump. You have been flying over the ocean, remember? Also, the helicopter is falling, so the height isn't that great. You jump into the water and swim toward the shore. Suddenly, you notice a shark's fin. It's quickly approaching you. What are you going to do? A. Try to swim to the shore as fast as possible. B. Don't swim anywhere and just float in the water. C. Dive and start waving your hands to scare the shark away. You need to stop. If you start swimming away, the shark will begin chasing you. Breathe in a lot of air and try not to make unnecessary movements. The shark will leave soon. But if it attacks, you'll have to attack back. Its gills and eyes are the animal's weak spots. Fortunately, the shark doesn't charge at you. It swims away, and you get to the shore safely. The island's guards are running out of the jungle. One of the prisoners who was with you in the helicopter is hiding in the bushes and invites you to join him. Where will you go? Let the guards catch you and take you to jail. Don't forget about your mission. They dress you in a yellow shirt and lead you away. You see many dangerous people. You're sitting at the table having lunch. There are three prisoners in front of you. One of them is going to escape. But who? That man with a book. A metal file serves him as a bookmark. Today, he will also try to escape. The underground tunnel leading from the prison to the bunker is located under the laundry room. You need to get out of your cell and get there. To do this, you have to get the metal file and pick the lock. Everyone goes out into the courtyard for a walk. You're following the man with the book. He sits down on the bench and hides the book under the seat. You need to distract him and get your hands on the book. You can use a basketball, dumbbells, or playing cards. What will you do? You can offer to work out with the dumbbells or play cards, but it will be difficult for you to get out of his sight. Start playing basketball. Throw the ball far away. The prisoner will run after it. Meanwhile, you'll take the book. So you grab the book but find no file inside. Instead of this, 
you find some money. It seems this guy has sold the tool to one of the other prisoners. You put the money in your pocket and look around the yard. Which of the prisoners can have the metal file? That guy is pressing his fingers to the sleeve of his shirt. Apparently, he's hiding the tool there. You're about to approach him, but one of the prisoners starts a fight. The guards are trying to prevent a riot. In all this chaos, someone hits you on the head and you lose consciousness. You wake up in a hospital ward. Oh no! You have almost no time left. The doors are locked. Several security guards are walking around. How can you get into the laundry room? In the corner, there's a huge cart with dirty laundry. Hide in there, and they'll take you to where you need to go. You hide among the dirty sheets. The cleaner takes the cart and transports you to the laundry room. He throws the linen into the washing machine and notices you. The cleaner is going to scream and call the guards. What will you do? You have some money, remember? You can pay for his silence. You move one of the washing machines and find a hatch under it. You climb inside and walk through the tunnel. It's very cold, wet, and dark here. Finally, you reach a small room. There are no windows and doors, only brick walls. What will you do? You can't go back. Among all these bricks, there's one sticking out of the wall. Try to push it. It worked! A secret door opens, and you step inside. You go down and find yourself in front of another iron door. You notice an oxygen tank with a mask lying nearby. You open the door and find yourself in an airlock room between two iron doors. One of the doors closes behind you. All the oxygen gets pumped out. You can't breathe, so you put on the mask. The second iron door opens, and you go inside. You see three tunnels. The first tunnel is filled with moving axes, blades, and other traps. High-voltage electric discharges flicker in the second tunnel. The third tunnel is burning with a bright flame. One of the threats is an illusion. Which tunnel will you choose? There's no air in the room, which means fire can't burn here. The flame is a hologram. You move on and find yourself in front of a dark room. It's so dark, you can't see what's inside. It seems to you that the diamond is there. Stop. What is this diamond? Who gave you this mission? What are you doing here? What's happening? At this moment, some unknown force pushes you forward. You step into the black void and fall. You find yourself floating in outer space. It's so cold and scary here. You feel tiny in the boundless universe. Suddenly, you see something shining. Is it a star or an asteroid? A bright light illuminates the black space around you. Good job, a heavy voice says. You reach out your hand and touch the light. At this moment, at a great speed, you start flying back through space and time. You're falling fast and land in a dirty room. Frightened, you get up and open the door. Oh, yes, sunlight! You finally get out of the bunker and find yourself on the island. There are two paths in front of you. One leads to the south, the other to the north. Which one will you choose? The boat is supposed to be waiting for you in the south, remember? You go through the jungle and find an old car. You start the engine and grab an MP3 player with headphones from the glove compartment. You drive along the road, listening to music, when you realize the brakes don't work. There are three ways ahead. A brick wall is waiting for you at the end of the first road. The second one leads to a swamp, and the third leads to a high hill with a cliff. Where are you going to drive? There's almost no time.
release the gas pedal and drive up the hill. The car will start slowing down, and soon you'll be able to get out of it. You go through the jungle and find yourself on the shore. There's an old motorboat on the sand. You push it into the water, start the engine, and get in. After traveling for some time, you see rocks with shipwrecks next to them. You slow down and hear beautiful singing coming from the rocks. The singing is beckoning, and you direct your boat right toward the rocks. You're quickly approaching the place and can do nothing to stop the inevitable. What will you do? You have the MP3 player you found in the car. You put on the headphones, turn on cool epic music, and travel away. You're heading toward sunset, toward new adventures. And now, let's check your points. 0 to 3 points. You definitely shouldn't go on dangerous adventures. You may be able to pass the first test, but you aren't likely to get through all the trials. 4 to 7 points. It's better, but you still lack confidence. You might panic in an extreme situation, and panic is the main enemy of any adventurer. 8 to 11 points. You're not afraid of danger. You always move forward with confidence. But you need to work on your attention to detail and your logical thinking skills to be able to always get out of trouble. 12 to 14 points. You're a real adventurer. You can handle not only exhausting challenges, but also survive inexplicable strange situations that would drive other people mad. 